I'm Daniel Braithwaite. I'm the head of science at Kerry Baptist College. That's a high school in Perth, southeast. My role in the high school is really to uh, improve the learning outcomes for students through trialing new platforms and working with my, my teachers. So when I first started uh, working at this school as a head of the department, whenever I walked into the office, the one thing that starts me is the teachers were always marking assessments. So when I, I looked around and I thought, why is this? I actually looked at how many assessments we had in science and it came down to around about 29 marked assessments per year per teacher. So that means each teacher is marking about 16 tests and two exam papers per week. And that's why my teachers were constantly marking. Uh, the other thing I noticed is that these assessments were mostly just ticks and crosses. So on the questions the teachers were going through, ticking and crossing, but because they were marking so much, they didn't have time really to provide any useful feedback on those assessments. And that's where Gradescope comes in for us. It's a new platform that really improves uh, the learning outcomes for our students through assessments. I tried the free trial for one of my smaller science classes and I was really impressed. And my reaction was like, wow, this is a really powerful tool for improving how teachers are marking assessments and also for improving student feedback from assessments. The free trial version doesn't have all the fancy features, but I could actually see that it, it was going to improve my assessments in terms of how much time it was going to take to mark assessments and also in the feedback that students would get after those assessments. What we're seeing is that the teachers who are using Gradescope consistently are, are seeing major time savings in marking their assessments. A really nice Gradescope feature is that you basically draw in all of the marking rubrics from a previous assessment. So the setup time now, we've been using it for a year, is significantly shorter than what it was. So when I walk into the science office now, I don't see teachers marking as much as I used to. I'm seeing teachers preparing for lessons. I'm seeing teachers providing better feedback on assessments. I'm seeing happier teachers. The power of Gradescope is the feedback it provides to students and the feedback it provides to teachers. So when students get tests back now, they're not getting tests with ticks and crosses where they're looking through the test and trying to figure out, well, what did I get right and wrong? And what is the tick for exactly? The students don't really understand how their assessment has been marked. What Gradescope helps us to do is provide really detailed feedback to students without actually any extra work. So we're not writing comments on assessments. What the students are seeing is they're seeing their questions and they're seeing how we've applied the marking rubric to those questions. And they're able to see where they got marks and where they didn't get marks. And so, so everything is really visible, everything is really clear. Our students are able to interrogate their own assessments and see what they got right, whether they go wrong. It's really improving the way feedback is given to our students from assessments. The ability to look at question level analysis and topic level analysis really allows teachers to identify areas of weaknesses, identify student misconceptions and feed that back into their teaching program to help their students learn and to help their students master the content. So I really like the AI functions that Grayscope has, so the, the ability to recognize text. That's whether that's multiple choice or um, numbers or words. And when we're doing large batches of tests, we're really seeing massive time savings because what we're able to do is we're able to take one question and pull out the text from those questions and Grayscope basically sorts it for us into groups. So we're using Grayscope mostly for summative assessments at the moment. So that's uh, tests and exams that students do at the end of a learning sequence. But we can really see some value in using Grayscope for formative assessments where the students aren't receiving a grade but they're receiving some feedback. And the downside of formative assessments is they take time. So if you're going to give students a formative assessment, it still needs to be marked. And with the time savings from Gradescope, it becomes feasible now to do formative assessments where the students aren't really receiving a grade, but they're getting a whole lot of feedback on how they're going in their learning. And the teachers are getting a whole lot of feedback on how the students are going in their learning. And Gradescope really will support that for us in the future because we're going to see massive time savings. And so to mark a group of students on a few questions you give them in a class, it no longer is going to take you a couple of hours, it's probably going to take you half an hour. I love Gradescope because it saves teachers time in marking assessments and improves assessment feedback both to students and to teachers.